Hello students, in this video, let's know the product formula to find out the root polynomial. Here is the concept which defines the specialization of the product formula and when to use the product formula. Suppose a board C is made up of two parts, C1 and C2, where C1 and C2 have no squares in the same row or the same column of C, such parts of C are called discharge subboards of C. Then the root polynomial R of Cx for the board C has the following property that is R of Cx is R of C1x into R of C2x and the generalization formula is given by R of C1x into R of C2x into R of C3x so on up to R of Cnx. Hence, we can conclude that the board can have the different subboards as C1, C2, C3 so on up to Cn. So, we can find out the root polynomial for each of the component and we can combine them together to find out the root polynomial for the board C. Here, the criteria to be the subboard is the square of the one subboard should not share the same column or the row with the square of the another subboard. This is the criteria to use the product formula. Now let us consider an example so that we can understand the product formula easily. Find the root polynomial for the board shown below that is shaded part. We can observe that for the expansion formula, we have used the unshaded parts with a number to place the pan. Whereas in the product formula, we are using the shaded parts to place the pan because they are the disjoint subsets. So name this board as C1, subboard as C1 and this subboard as C2. Now, let us find out the root polynomial for the board C1 first. So here with the observation R1 value, the total number of squares are 4 and R2 can be calculated for the placement of the two pans. So 1, 4 and 2, 3. Hence R2 is equal to 2. So R3, with the observation we can see first pan, second pan and there is no room for the third pan. So R3 is equal to 0. So the root polynomial is given by the equation R of C1 x is equal to 1 plus R1 is 4, 4x plus R2 is 2, 2x square. So this is the root polynomial for the board C1. Same way, let's find out the root polynomial for the board C2. So here, R1 is equal to 5 to 11, 4 plus 3, 7. That is R1 is equal to 7. And R2 can be calculated as 5, 8, 5, 9 and 5, 11. Same way, 6, 7, 6, 9 and 6, 10. 7, 9, 7, 11. And same way, 8, 9 and 8, 10. These are all the possibility for the placement of the two paths. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hence, R2 is equal to 10. Same way, R3 for the placement of the three paths. So, possibilities are 5, 8, 9. The first possibility is 5, 8, 9. And the second, 6, 7, 6, 7, 9 and we can observe that there is no other possibilities hence R3 is equal to 2. So the root polynomial for the board C2 is R of C2x is equal to 1 plus R1 is 7x plus R2 is 10x square plus R3 is 2x cube. Next the product formula is given by R of Cx is equal to R1 R of C1 x into R of C2 x. Now we can multiply R of C1 x and R of C2 x that is 1 plus 4 x plus 2 x square into 1 plus 7 x plus 10 x square plus 2 x cube. Multiply each of the components with the components of the board C2. So, we will get with the simplification 
1 with all the components. So 1 plus 7x plus 10x square plus 2x cube. Same way 4x with all the components. So 4x into 1 is 4x plus 4x into 7 28x square plus 4x into 10x square that is 40x cube plus 4x with the 2x cube that is 8x power 4. Same way 2x square. 2x square with the 1 that is 2x square plus 2 with 7. 2x square with 7x. 14x cube plus 2x square with the 10x square that is 20x power 4. Finally, 2x square with the 2x cube that is 4x power 5. Now, by simplification, we will get it as 1 plus 7 plus 4 is 11x plus 10, 10 plus 28, 38 plus 2 is 40x square plus 42 plus 14 is 56x cube plus 28x power 4 plus 4x power 5. This is the root polynomial for the entire board for the disjoint subboards C1 and C2 by combining the disjoint subboards C1 and C2. So the answer, let me verify the answer. 1 plus 11x plus 40x square plus 56x cube plus 28x power 4 plus 4x, 4 into x power 5. Yes. So this is the final polynomial for the given board. This completes with the example. Thank you.